in this video, we are going to be taking a look at every single update that we know is confirmed for 2024 in Build a Boat for Treasure Roblox. We're also going to be taking a look at what could possibly be inside of these updates because we got boss fights, we got limited time items, and much, much more. So make sure to stay tuned. Also, be sure to like the video and subscribe. Let's not waste any more time. Let's hop straight into the video. Now, I just want to say that these updates are already planned and scheduled to go out to the game. They are 100% going to be added. So there is a chance that we could be seeing other updates added in between or before some of these updates do drop. So just keep that in mind because there could be more than what I'm going to show you in this video. But let's not waste any more time. Let's hop straight into it. So starting off with the first one, we have the confirmed 4th of July update. Now, this update, a crate of fireworks spawns in for like a week of build a boat for treasure on July 4th that this bucket of fireworks gets added so you can go up to it and claim it every single day so it's like your very own daily rewards you should say you can also notice how the skybox is dark also inside of the shop they add the fireworks for a limited time that you can claim it for a certain time period so it's six days in total so it's a seven day long event so you can buy them six days after the update releases they're 100 gold each three come in a pack and you can also claim the daily reward every single day you spawn it now there's really nothing much to this update other than the fireworks and the free daily reward they've added fourth of july codes inside of the past but it is not confirmed that we're going to be getting another one so just keep that in mind but it is a cool little seasonal event that happens every single july 4th so you can get yourself some limited time items but i will say that's probably the most boring update that we're going to cover in this video so that one is scheduled to go out on july 4th of 2024 which is about three months away roughly about then or maybe less than that at this point i don't even know anymore what day it is but this next update in my opinion is 10 times better because it has some of the coolest items inside of the game the best map changes and much more let's get straight into and it. the next update that's going to be coming out that is confirmed is the halloween update so just like with the 4th of July, every single time you spawn in, the skybox is going to be nighttime. And you can also notice that these Halloween lanterns are sitting on the sides of the plot. You can also notice how the candle does return to the shop, as well as the pumpkin and also the dragon harpoon. The candle selling for 25 gold, the pumpkin for 40, and the dragon harpoons are sold for 300 Robux apiece. Now you may be thinking, is that all this update has inside of it? No, there actually is way more. So actually around the map spawns these Halloween candy houses now what these houses actually do is they award candy every single time you go up to them and knock on the door but there is a slim chance that a hand will grab you from the inside and it'll make your avatar oof so you can get all sorts of candies you can get blue purple yellow pink and red candy i believe or maybe not red candy I, I completely forgot i think the pink candy is actually the rarest and it's like a one in like 40 chance or something i don't really know the probability of getting the pink candy but it is way more rare than the yellow purple or blue candy but one we that we didn't notice was inside of this update was the red candy the red candy was not available to get in any of the houses also inside of this update returned to old halloween stages which was this one right here which was the graveyard stage this is one of my most favorite halloween stages and all of build a boat for treasure halloween updates that we've had in the past moving on furthermore down two other stages make a return as well we have the night stage which kind of is halloween themed but it is really really awesome the mechanics on this stage is really cool the night statues are awesome and then this is probably my most favorite halloween stage that we've ever gotten is one with the giant cauldron in the middle this is like one of the only like donut stages we've had where it goes in a circle instead of straight forward Forward, which is pretty awesome i'm not gonna lie and all around is a pretty solid update with old items returning we have new stages and also candy that you can claim throughout the map there was no official like change log for this halloween update when it did drop last october but i'm assuming that it's going to be an automated update like the halloween and also the christmas that we're gonna look at here in just a minute i mean it has pretty much the basics of the halloween updates nothing too crazy there was no boss fights inside of this one but this next update that we're going to get into that is confirmed 100% to be added has a brand new quest or not really brand new but old returning quest I should say with potential new items lots of returning stuff let's take a look so inside of the last Christmas update that we had back in 2022 or maybe it was even 2021 it's been such a long time since we've had a Christmas update so basically as you guys can see the map is going to change there's going to be Christmas decorations all throughout the map it's going to be set to nighttime as well 
for this one. And it also is snowing around the map as well. It just looks really, really awesome. We're greeted with brand new Christmas stages, which I'm not entirely too sure if... Uh... Oh, yeah, it says Christmas stages are set to appear during Christmas. So these ones, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be these ones are going to be returning. Maybe it's old other ones, but I'm pretty sure it's these uh, since these were the last ones to be added inside of the last update. We also have the revamped, uh, like, baseball stage right there that's all Christmas themed as well. On top of that, we have some spawn decorations. You probably also will get some gold chests for going through the stages. They do bring back the gifts. I'm assuming those are going to be brought back because inside of the last changelog we had, they said they set the Christmas items to resell during Christmas. So I'm assuming it's going to be this Christmas winter chest and also the cookies, the Christmas harpoons as well. But I don't know about the gifts because the gifts, they'd actually have to add something new for those to be inside of the gift. So maybe we're going to be getting new items from these gifts or maybe we're not going to be getting items at all maybe they're just going to bring back some of the other stuff but you guys can see right here the christmas chest is really awesome because it's your chance to actually get the neon block that has a one percent chance of getting it otherwise the only other way to get those inside of the game is to spend robux on them and they're pretty much the most expensive block inside of the game now on top of all the stuff that they're going to be re-adding they're going to be re-adding the decorations some of the items inside of the shop they're going to be also bringing back the christmas stages the map decorations but on top of that they're going to be returning an old christmas quest they said quote unquote set a christmas set an old christmas quest to reappear during christmas now the last christmas quest that we got was extremely easy i mean literally all you had to do is like build a wall and survive like a few minutes of the nutcrackers to defeat you so if you survive that then you win but i'm assuming since that one gave us only one prize and that was the travel tool which we already have they're probably going to bring back an older christmas quest which i'm assuming is going to be the present quest so basically for this quest a giant present would spawn inside of the middle and you'd have to defeat like different waves of gingerbread to actually survive but since in the past this gave us like exclusive items like it gave us a gift that then later turned on and turned into an item so I wonder what they're actually going to be adding to the game to replace for these quests because these Christmas quests and boss fights, they all gave presents. But if those presents have already been opened and into new items, it looks like they're probably going to be adding new items to the game when the Christmas update drops. Or maybe they're just going to add like gold as a reward. I'm not entirely too sure. Everything's all up in the air right now. But it is confirmed they're going to be returning back the Christmas quest, Christmas stages, Christmas decorations, and the Christmas items. So it is very interesting. So those right there are the confirmed updates that we have. We have the 4th of July update that's confirmed. We have the Halloween, which we're 95% sure that is also confirmed, just like the Christmas update. And on top of that, we have the Christmas update, which is going to return all of those things that I just showed you guys. Now, as I mentioned, there is very, very likely chance that we could be seeing it updates before those happen because those ones are pretty much set to automatically go out let me know down below what you guys think about it be sure to drop a big thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel with that notification bell turned on and i'll see you guys all inside of the next one peace out and goodbye